It's a short boat ride from Long Key to the Tennessee Reef just off of US-1. These two FGCU grad students suit up and head overboard into these rough seas. Getting to the bottom of a mystery in Florida's marine food chain. I love seafood and um, I just want to make sure that everything I'm eating doesn't send me home, you know, writhing in pain. Nicholas Culligan's studying Ciguatera. Which is a form of seafood poisoning. Dr. Mike Parsons teaches marine science at FGCU. He's been studying toxins in our oceans for years, trying to figure out why about a thousand people each year get sick after eating certain kinds of fish. It's part of a $5.9 million grant project paid for by the National Institute of Health. Basically one of the biggest issues is we do not know if and when a fish is going to be toxic. Which is why they're diving off the Florida Keys. So where we are now, they're about 25 feet below the surface. They're collecting fish that they'll take back to the lab and analyze for toxins. Some grouper have it, so since people avoid barracuda, grouper tend to be the more common causes of ciguatera. While he says most fish are fine, it's still good to be aware of the potential danger. Right now, they're working to figure out how they can predict which fish will make you sick and which won't. The algae those fish eat lives on seagrass here near Long Key. That's why they dive in this water, collecting samples of the plants and then filtering them on the boat. They're working in the Keys because the majority of these toxins are found here. They want to nail down how it spreads to the food chain as it slowly progresses toward the Gulf of Mexico and Southwest Florida's fisheries. And so we're trying to understand the system better to see if there's times of year or under certain conditions when we'd expect to see more toxins and more toxic fish. Fish like barracuda that could end up on your plate and make you sick. Symptoms usually start as late as 24 hours after eating the fish. They include food poisoning symptoms like nausea, abdominal pain, and vertigo. It can also affect your nerves, making cold things feel scalding hot and vice versa. So you'll drink a glass of ice water and it'll feel like scalding hot water and you have to convince yourself you didn't burn your throat. Affecting your health for a few days or up to 20 years in extreme cases. There's no cure, and he says hospitals in the Keys see patients regularly for the illness. And working to keep you healthy is why he and his students say it's well worth the battle with the waves here. If people start mysteriously getting sick, they might not come back uh, to the Keys or South Florida in general. And that's a problem that they're trying to prevent since Florida depends so much on fishing for the economy. Ciguatera affects about 400 species, but the big three you need to look out for are barracuda, grouper and snapper.